Company Cadet Corps, 2,400 strong, marches into Philadelphia's Municipal Stadium confident of victory in the 51st edition of the Great Service Classic, the Army-Navy Game. 100,000 spectators see the entire Midshipman Brigade. 3,700 middies arrive with hopes high of riding herd on the Army Mule. First to field are the middies. They've won only two games all season, but they're ready and waiting for the cadets who haven't lost in three years. The nation's number one fan tosses the coin for Captains Backey of Navy and Fulberg of Army. Navy wins the toss, an omen of the greatest upset of a great season. Right from the start, Army is outplayed. Pollard tries to recover a fumble, but a Navy man beats him to it in a bruising encounter that shows how keyed up the middies are to win the game. It anchors away, Navy. On a reverse, Bill Power sweeps wide around the Army flank and goes for a first down. A three touchdown underdog as the nation's number two team rocked on its heels. Bob Zastro, the Middies Husky quarterback, shoots a pass downfield for a skidding catch by Captain Tom Becky. And then from the seven, Zastro finds a hole and sneaks through for a touchdown. Navy has beaten Army to the punch, and the stadium is filled with cheers of delighted midshipmen. Still Navy, Zastro to Powers on a reverse that catches the West Pointer snapping. Before they nail him, Powers is reeled off 22 yards, and the stage is set for another Navy score. Zastro back for a pass, looking for a receiver. He's taking his time. 30 yards into the end zone, and Jim Bollinger's catch is ruled complete. That makes it 14 to nothing for the Sailors, and the joint is jumping on one side of the field. The Cadets find something to cheer about, though, when a Navy kick is blocked later in the game, but time is running short, and the Minis lead 14 to 2. Within yards of the goal line, Army takes to the air. An 11th hour try for a touchdown, but Navy intercepts, and it's all over. But a man scramble for a fumble ball as the clock runs out, and Navy has won. The Minis outran, outcharged, outpassed, and outfought the Cadets. An out and out victory. Navy's first over Army in seven long lean years, and it's time to celebrate loud and long. Back to Annapolis go coach Eddie Erdelatz and his victorious gritters. They ring the bell from the Carrier Enterprise, a signal that once again the Middies have won the big game, and that's something to cheer about.